Project Runway host Heidi Klum says she saves all kinds of keepsakes from her children with her ex-husband's seal, even their son's hair. In a recent interview, Heidi said, quote, they have big afros, and when I shave them all down, I keep all the hair and put it in a Ziploc bag. I keep everything. <laughs> what unusual things do we all save? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> <laughs> Why would you save afro hair? I mean, you can't weave in afro hair. You can't... No, you don't no, never no, see us no, at, no. at the hair place going, look here, what I need is... <laughs> And he just curly, nappy beard. <laughs> that, just, that just seems but nasty. I totally get this. I mean, I don't know if I'm weird, but I have, like, my son's first haircut and hair little Which things. Which is probably some beautiful, long, silky stuff. <laughs> Me too. That's not, that's not what an afro is. I say my... Michelle Batchman and Rick Santorum, how do you feel about what Cheryl Underwood said? Wait a minute, you mean to tell me that was not Wesley Snipes? Well, I personally don't see anything wrong with it. You know how I feel about black people. I agree. You remember when I almost called the president a nigger? Damn FCC needs to retire. I actually think what Cheryl Underwood said was brilliant. You know this helps keep the white supremacy and the black inferiority complex alive. Yes, we don't have to say racist things anymore, we can just find a negro to do it for us. But make no mistake about it. We will still say what we say as well. This is what will keep black people at the bottom because now we know that after all of the ass kicking that they have endured, they want that white approval. Out of all of the things that they can copy from a white woman, these negro wenches choose to copy hair. No wonder they are all single and fat. I don't think that is necessarily true about all of them Rick. Well wait a minute I think Rick is onto something, I seen precious. The majority of them are like that. Well, let me ask you this, do you think she should apologize for what she said? I don't think so, she spoke her mind blacks are too sensitive anyway. What do you think would have happened if she made a reference towards Jewish people or gay people? Would you say that they were too sensitive? No, not at all. Why is that? Because they are a strong united people, and they are very consistent, black people can't unite like that. They hate each other too much. They don't have a unified front. But if they did, Cheryl Underwood would not have felt comfortable saying it and the audience would have been more hesitant to laugh at what she said. We can smack black people around all day and they will just pray for us, but if you go on world star hip hop, they fight each other over potato chips. They may complain for about two weeks, then they will talk about Kanye and Kim Kardashian again. But I personally would like to thank Cheryl Underwood, so now when we attack blacks, we will use what she said against them. As a matter of fact, I am gonna call my good friend Don Imus. <laughs>